G'day and welcome to Lace 8 with Jenny Brandis. In this video I'm going to show you what has been changed or added to your favorite Lace program. Here you have a screenshot of Lace RXP and here is a screenshot of Lace 8. The first and biggest difference you will see is the overall look of the program. Gone are the familiar drop-down menus and the toolbars that you can drag and place wherever you wanted to. Lace 8 has come into the 21st century with ribbons, and right mouse click menu options with a few simple mouse clicks you can personalize the overall color range of the program I talk more on personalizing the program in Lace 8 setting default preferences as well as Lace 8 customizing the quick access toolbar you can now open multiple designs at once and therefore copy and paste between the different files. With Lace 8 you can use multiple fonts on the same design and they will be saved with that file. You have a wider choice of font looks. You have a color, the type, whether it be bold or italic and you can save your font choices as the default fault. The time since last backup has now become much more visible with white lettering on a red strip. Choosing to save gives us more choices. We've got save as a lace eight design, PDF, encapsulated postscript, JPEG and even PNG. Let's have a look at the PDF. Here we get to choose what size we export it as, whether it be thread or grid, portrait or landscape, what size page we're using. This last one here, make one page, no margins is ideal for importing into publishing programs such as InDesign. The options also has you show page positions on each page for multiple page exports and we can draw corner location markers as well. So let's run through that. File, PDF, I'll choose by grid and leave it at portrait and glow OK. I'm going to choose one in 10 inch straight and go OK again. It asks you what I want to save it as and I'll go save. Now while it is doing this, you'll have the ability to actually preview your PDF before it goes any further. So you can see immediately if this is exactly what you wanted it to look like. That is all for part one, but please stand tuned for part two.